take off this morning 6 a.m. 7 a.m. been beautiful weather in the Bahamas it never rains certainly it's gonna rain all morning this morning rain drops keep dropping on my head ding, ding. <laughs> it's okay I'm enjoying my time it's not a beautiful day in America it might be we don't know all right what up y'all so Captain Matt out here again Today we're crossing the tongue of the ocean. We're at about 5,000 feet right here. The tongue of the ocean is pretty deep. Um, so I'm trolling. Trolling for some mahi mahi and some tuna. I'm just going to hold my line the whole time though. Because I'm not losing them this time. I'm over barracudas. Had too much hogfish and andros. And now it's tuna time. So let me know any tips. Let me know if this is going to work. And also, we're kind of going sort of slow, so let me know, is it better to go fast, like 10 to 15 degrees off course and then put a tack in, or is it better just to go right on, dead on to your destination and go like half the speed? So let me know all you salty sea dogs out there because I hate going slow. You hate it, Kristen? I don't mind it, really. You hate it. Everyone hates it. No, it's fine. That's what sailing is, a nice slow journey. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're at the halfway point and this has been like the easiest sail of our entire lives I feel like. Don't get talking crazy now. That's what we always do. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's barely up. any waves. They're little. I mean, we haven't caught any fish. That's one sucky part. Compared but. to what we've been through, this has been a pretty tranquil sail, but the wind didn't come through quite as in the direction that they said, so even though it says we'll be there in five, six hours, it's probably gonna take more like seven or eight because we're gonna have to throw a tack in there, we're gonna have to shoot south, but we just no crossed. No biggies though, no biggies. Yeah, so it's it's doable, it's maintainable. It's not gonna be a big 24 hour sail. And we're just now about to cross through the tongue of the ocean. The what? The tongue. Don't ever do that again. That was creepy. The tongue of the ocean. So yeah, we're going from, it goes pretty abruptly from like 1,000 feet to 20 feet, something crazy like that. Let me see what I'm getting into here. Yeah, we're in 240 now, and then it goes to 39, and then to 20, and then in about 15 miles, it gets like really shoaly and kind of rocky, so. I'll be driving during that time, for sure. But, oh wait, are you putting me down saying that I can't do it? I just don't want her to have to deal with that stress. You're the one who stresses out. I'm the one who just, you know. Goes said, with the flow? Yeah, I would say, all right, to the, to the port, to the starboard. All right, got it, got port, it. Port, starboard, got it, going. <laughs> yeah, you're the one who goes, oh, 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 oh are we gonna die? Oh, oh, oh. I mean, we're not dying out here. That is what I do, mostly. We're not but dying out here. We just saw a fishing boat out here. It came out to the edge. So they're fishing, so it makes you feel like if he shot all the way out here, we got about 25 more miles to go. So we're doing good. We had some boiled peanuts. We had some boiled peanuts. That was I, delicious. I might have had a beer for breakfast. I didn't. I'm keeping hydrated. I got my sunglasses on. I'm not getting another migraine. Yeah. I learned my lesson. Yeah, thanks for the tips on that too, guys. Thanks for the tips.
All right, boys and girls, here we are, Norman's Key. Just got in last night. Going to uh, put the dinghy together and go do some adventuring today. This is, uh, this is the old girl right here. She folds up like this. Whoa, a little rocky out here. She folds up like that. There's the floor, there's the dinghy. I gotta put her all together now. I know y'all might be noticing, I got a different look on today. I uh, got this hat courtesy of one of Manny's shacks, I think, the guy that stole my pole spear. And uh, the reason I'm wearing this is because, I don't know if you can see, let me let me try to look for you. I'll, I'll try to do some zoom ins. I don't have very good zoom on my camera, but these are all ditty boats. These are all big boy boats out here, like miniature cruise ships that people own, million dollar catamarans. So I had to put on my, my Ferrari hat just to let them know, you know, we're, we're balling out here. So, you know, trying to fit in. This was like Pablo Escobar's island, I heard. So, you know, this is like a baller's only spot. So I had to put on my, put on my heavy hit. Good morning, guys. We made it. We made it to the Exubas. We're at Norman's Key. We actually did something we planned on doing. For once and we didn't appear in a whole nother country. We came in last night and we kind of guessed where to anchor. We used the Diddy Boat's lights to find a good spot. So today we're just gonna get the dinghy out and then we're gonna go explore. Hopefully check out some white sand beaches. I really want to snorkel the drug smuggling plane and we'll see what we get into. So we're kind of out here in the middle of nowhere. There's a lot of like really nice boats around but it's uh kind of desolate out here you get no cell phone service I see a cell phone tower over there so we may have to sail closer to it but that's part of the adventure right no cell phones none of that good stuff just hard to find like spots to dive without the Google Maps all right so we're just exploring we came to this island and we saw like this path that looks like it goes up the mountain. So we're gonna go on a little adventure hike. You make sure there's no scary pirates up ahead. This is steeper than I thought. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're trying to avoid the bohemian poison wood that's supposedly out here, which is like poison ivy. What the heck is that? Looks like it could be somebody's house. looks like a lagoon, a blue lagoon, and pretty much I'm calling it Instagram Island. There's tons of blue water, clearness, and now let's, we walked up here and there's like this weird bottle of Bacardi with a message in it. Let's go read the message. So Kristen's about to open up the message in the bottle. I think it's gonna be a treasure map. What do you think it's gonna be? A kid's drawing. Sailed and conquered by something from Bulgaria. Bulgaria. All right, well, Bulgaria in the house. Good job, guys. So much for that treasure. All right, gonna put it back. Put it back. We came across 
the drug smuggling airplane that we're about to snorkel. Can you tell? So we came to another beach area that's pretty much, I don't know, maybe another island hop down. I think it's still Norman's Key, but we're just gonna hang out. Matt snorkeling, looking at the fish, because he never gets out of the water. Remember fat rat, water mat or whatever he said. So I'm just gonna have a few beers and hang out on this white sand beach. So it's me, the panty man here in my panties. Just here to say that on Norman's Key, there's not enough fishing for me. There probably is some really good fishing here, but we don't have our data, so I can't find any of the spots. And I don't have enough gas to drive around this island 10 times to find them. So it's gonna be on to the next one. Shroud Key, maybe Staniel Key. We're gonna be hitting them up. We should be leaving out 9, 10 a.m. tomorrow. Nice little day sales from here on out.